Lord, we thank you for everything. Your words, and give God thanks in everything. And we thank you for this special moment, Lord God. Because in this moment, Heavenly Father, we, you, your words, Lord God, that you are the resurrection of life, Almighty God. After death is eternity life, Lord God, who rests in peace with you. In the name of you, Jesus Christ, we pray, my Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day for dear the bread, and forgive us our trespasses, for we forgive those that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thou art this mean, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As we know, family and friends, uh, 
We have our grandmother today here with us. Grandmother Lucille, Juana Lucilla, Presida Taylor, that she passed away, but she's still here in our present because the good book says that there is an eternity life, and the eternity life is for all those people that live in Christ. You mean? The Bible says in the book of in the, in the, in the, in John chapter 11, verse 11, it says, Dicho esto les dijo dispuesto, nuestro amigo Lázaro duerme, mas voy para despertarle. Dijeron entonces sus discípulos, Señor, si duerme sanará. Pero Jesús decía eso de la muerte de Lázaro, y ellos pensaron que hablaba del reposo del sueño. Entonces Jesús les dijo, claramente, Lázaro ha muerto. Family and friends, we know that this time to burn is a time to die. We are just pilgrims that passing through this world, amen? amen? We know that this world is not ours. God prepared mansion for us. We hear in this world, but this world is not ours. We are just passing through. The good book said that our city is in heaven, amen? amen. Today, our grandmother passed away but she in the better place. Because when you live for Christ, you go to the better place. So we thank the Most High for, for giving her 90 years of life. That is a blessing. The Bible says when you honor your father and your mother, your day will be long on the earth, which in God has given us thee. Amen? Amen? And this is something special for us. Today we crying because she's our family just as friends, but as well we're rejoicing because we know that she went into the kingdom of the Most High. Amen? Amen? So this is a moment that we take in unity to give God thanks as well. We thank God because we know that she in, the, she in His hand, she in His glory. She gone, but we will meet her one of these days. Amen? Amen? So I just come to tell you all that don't give up. God love you all just how Him love everyone. Amen. Yeah, man? This is a special moment. We cry because she's our family. We cry because we, 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 we miss her. Because she's leaving us for a moment. But one day we will be back with her in the eternity glory of heaven. Amen. Yeah, man? The Bible said that in the moment, entonces Jesús, al verle llorando a los judíos que le acompañaban, también llorando se entristeció in the spirit from the moment that Jesus Christ went and see all the people that was was crying the Bible said that he moved in sadness in spirit for his for his friend Lazarus right today we cry because we love we have some loved ones we cry because we love our family that passed away but as well we are rejoicing because we know that eternity life, they are waiting for each one of us that live in his person. Amen? Jesus cried for Lazarus. We cried for grandmother today that passed away. But we thank Almighty God that him carrying her with him. Because before granny gone away, we were having a glorious moment with granny that night. Many of us know that that night granny was one we to sing with her. Because she was going in peace. Amen? So I come to tell the family today and friends that are listening to me that don't give up. Granny went to the better place. All it takes us to prepare that like whole granny being prepared on earth. Amen? Amen? Because salvation is one. And it's, a, it's two roads. It's a road of eternity life. And it's a road of eternity death. This is time for me to realize that the coming of Christ is near. Even though Jesus Christ can reach us before our death can reach us. But the important part of this that we reach to his presence before that reach us. Amen. Amen. So in the name of Jesus, we beg you all today that don't give up. Fight the battle. Hold on Christ like how Lazarus did. The Bible mentioned about the, the rich man and Lazarus. The Bible said that the rich man they have a good life, but Lazarus was having bad. But Lazarus was always having the presence of God with him. Jesus used to visit Lazarus' house daily. That's why his sister tell him, Master, if you did come before, 
my brother Lazarus won't die. But him tell her, him going to resurrect. Him tell her that him don't die. Him, him going born again, him going to be resurrected. Amen? Amen? So we're telling you today here that if you die in Christ, you will resurrect because the Bible said when he come, all the dead in Christ will resurrect first. Amen. Amen? The important things is that we're dead in Christ. Paul said my living is Christ and my death is gainers. Grandmother died today, but she died in peace because she dead with the Lord. Our God Jesus Christ. The Lord tell me, Martha, this sickness is not for death, but is for make the Father in heaven glorify. Family and friends, I tell you today here, in the name of Jesus, we will cry because we feel pain just so Jesus cried for Lazarus. But we're happy because we know that she went to his kingdom. Don't give up on you all. Follow the footsteps as grandmother did before. She was always singing with us here. She was always being a peacemaker with us here on earth. She was always looking for salvation for her generation. This is the perfect time for me we realize so we need to follow Jesus' footstep as well, granny footstep. So I come to tell you today here that don't give up. We are passing through, but one of these days we will be in the same condition. The important thing is for we to prepare for this moment. This is not time for me to be playing. This is not time for me to be running wild around. This is time for we hold on Jesus Christ the way how we should be. Because the coming of Christ is near. The very important part of what, of what the Apostle Paul said, my living is Christ and my death is gainers. I come to tell you, just live for Christ and you will realize something that when you're dead, you're dead in your glory, you're dead in your peace. This is a special moment for everyone. All the family, we know that we sorrows in this moment through the loss of our grandparents. But as well, we have been in joy because we know she gone to the better place. We just pilgrim passing through. Everyone would reach this moment. We are just passing through. The Bible said that our life is in heaven. Our citizen is in heaven. This is just a moment of sadness. But up yonder would be a moment of glory. Eternity life in heaven. Our life is in Jesus Christ. Where no one went to take me from him. The good books of Father, the one that you have given me. I want to make them be where so I might be and no one going to take them out of my hand. You are in the hand of the Lord. We know that grandmother always be a polite woman on earth. She was always smiling. She was always there to serve like the master. The master said him didn't come for be served. He come to serve. He didn't come to condemn this world. But he come to see what was being lasted. So grandmother was always serving. Anyone come here, Miss Lucille? Can you help me night? Can you night me? Can you help put up a palic or something? Grandmother was always there to help. So that's why we miss her by her lovingness and kindness. But we really thank and appreciate God that she went in peace. Amen? Amen. So this is the peaceful time that what we have after this moment of sadness. That eternity, the eternity life waiting at us in heaven. So I tell you today here, as how Jesus tell Martha, if you believe, you shall see the glory of God. From the moment you believe in you, Jesus Christ, our Savior, you will see the glory of Him. Family and friends, don't give up. Grandmother still there waiting for us. She up there waiting for us. Don't give up our salvation. This is the time that we must stay and spend with the Lord because the coming of Christ is near. I just want to tell you before we finish this ceremony that everyone going to give the Lord a count in his coming according to our act that we did on earth, even good or even bad, but that moment will come 
So this time we must live for him. The Bible said that our life is like the fog. Today we hear and tomorrow we doesn't. But the important part that when we hear today, we'll be here in his presence and not far away from him. The Bible said that him, one day for him is like a thousand years. And a thousand years is like one day. But him coming going to be here. He coming going to be near. So I come to tell you the family that Jesus Christ died for all of us and he loves us. The Bible says who believe in him already saved, but who doesn't have be condemned. And the good important part that when you believe in Jesus and you hold on him, you will resurrect like how Jesus tell Martha that Lazarus would be resurrected. Amen? Amen. Yo soy la resurrección y la vida, dice. El que cree en mí, aunque está muerto, vivirá. If you believe in him, even if you're dead, you will resurrect because you're dead in Christ. And I repeat, Paul the Apostle said, My living is Christ and my death is gainers. Para mí el vivir es Cristo y mi morir es ganancia. So we give God thanks for this moment too as well. We rejoice in the Lord for this moment because we don't sad to know that granny going to be condemned. We, we're happy to rejoice that she, we know that she won't be in the Lord present and in the eternity glory of the Lord, our God. So formally, we thank the Lord for this moment. And I want to say something here today with a special, with a special song that I always used to sing to my grandmother every day that I come here. I know the Lord will make a way for me. And I will beg you all that know this the little chorus to come to share it with me at, at this moment for the glory of God as well for our grandmother. Amen. I know the Lord will make a way for me. I know. For his mercy upon us. We thank the Lord for the daily life and the daily bread that he has given us. The night before grandmother passed away, I tell the Lord, I said, Lord, I thank you because you give my grandmother one more day of life. And every day I was thanking him because the good book so we must give God thanks in everything. We thank God for life and we thank God for everything that he provides for us. God would always make a way for you. God would always open a way for you once you trust in Him. This is a moment that we take to rejoice in the Lord as well. When the Lord calls your name in His kingdom, you will be happy to hear your name because you know that you'll be in rest in the Lord's peace. And this moment, we be thankful with him. Him cry for Lazarus because he been loved Lazarus. Just so he cry for us. He tell, he tell the multitude of people, he tell the Father, Father, forgive them. Because they don't know what they have done. He love us with all his love. For God so loved this world, he said. That this give his only begotten son. Who shall ever believe it in him? Should not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is here for each one of us, family. We just take the Lord and tell Him thanks, Almighty God, for this moment as well. Because God is good all the time, and all the time He is good. So this moment, this moment we will have a special 
for one of the members, family members here. And after we will have whosoever want to say something about Granny, it was welcome to be. So the person that will give the special. I am thinking to thee of that beautiful land. I shall reach when the sun goes down. When through wonderful grace by my Savior I stand, will there be any stars in my crown? Will there be any stars, any stars? Bright stars may be mine in the glorious day when his praise like a sea pillar rose. Will there be any star, any stars in my crown? But who pray for me when mama is gone? Who pray for me when mama is gone? Who ask this forgiveness from then on? Who care enough to talk with God? When her bleeding voice has stopped, who pray for me when mama is gone? 
I'm guess I just a week to fall down on my knees and talk to God like a man on my own. He knows who I am. She mentions me to him. But who pray for me when mama is gone? Who pray for me when mama is gone? From then on, who carried us to talk with God? When her pleading voice stopped, who prays for me when mama's gone? Who prays for me when mama's gone? There is no one to pray for us. No one cares us like our mother. So the day we lose her, we lose the world.
Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our sister, Lucilla, for burial. Let us pray with confidence to God, the giver of life, that he will raise her to perfection in the company of his saints. Deliver your servant, Lucilla, our sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil and set her free from every bond, that she may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and live, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us also pray for all who mourn that they may cast their care on God and know the consolation of His love. Almighty God, look in compassion upon the sorrows of your servants, for whom we pray, remember them, Lord, in mercy. Nourish them with patience, comfort them with a sense of your goodness. Lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And at the last day, he will stand upon the earth.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, whose mercy is cannot be number, accept our plan behalf of your servant Jose, and grant her an entrance into the land of life and joy, in the fellowship of your saints, in Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and bears with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, no one forever. Amen. A reading according to 1 John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do is this. When He is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. coming and leave the sheep and runs away. And the wolves snatch them and scatter them. The hired hands runs away because a hired hands does not care for the sheep. 
I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own knows me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. To this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd, of one shepherd. For this reason my father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. And I, I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The word of the Lord. And every time we celebrate the life of someone that go ahead of us, we have the time to review our own lives and find out what do we want for ourselves. Where are we on this part of life? I always like to say this is a wonderful time to be here. It is the most precious historical time that have ever existed in ages. To be here. Tomorrow we'll be celebrating a triple eclipse because we had two in June and now we have another one tomorrow. And if you notice it coincides with the 4th of July. And that is telling us something, church. The leading country of the world is celebrating their country tomorrow and tomorrow is the triple finishing the triple eclipse that came in june and july and you might say what's she talking about that is not church like i'm telling you church everything about creation is about church everything about what is happening in the skies is about our journey here and it is telling us important things I remember some time ago, not long ago, I think about a month ago, or maybe a little more, someone sent a beautiful scene that they saw in Managua there with a beautiful rainbow and light in the sky. And I just can say, God is saying to us that he's here with us. No matter what is happening and what we see in the outward world, God is here. And as we go on this journey, this world is cleaning up church, which is purging. Just like you, you are purging. I am purging out all the things that I don't need to go for, because as I would like to remind you, the Christ is here. And he is coming back very soon. Some people call it the rapture, some, and I call it the ascension. He is coming back to a place where we would find and the master plan of God will be accomplished and it is accomplishing right here and now. You might not know what is happening and see what is happening behind the scene, but if you will get in that secret place of the Most High and ask God to reveal to you what is happening, you will realize what is happening, that God is working for his people and the 50% of this is you. God has 50% and we have 50% to do our part. And what is our part, church? What is your part and my part? To love. But love, like God calls us to love. Love with compassion, with forgiveness, with reaching out to others, praying for others, sometimes we don't even know them. The other day I heard the radio station calling out to people to carry things. They say in Pearl Lagoon, they did the same thing in Marshall Point, I don't know where it is. Those are good indicators that say that we are people of love. We love each other and we concern for what is happening with the other person. Lucille went home to be with the Lord. And now it's our time to do our part here on earth. To do what we are called to do. So when our time comes, whether we drop this body in this time, or we go up in the ascension with this body, that's everything. We know we are well with the Lord. Our soul is well, and we can sing, it is well with my soul. Not to body, no. 
Maybe if it was to sing that and we say it is well with my soul, so my bar, no, it's not time to bar. It's time to rejoice and say, it is well with Russell's soul. And it is also well with my soul. Because I am on the right journey. I am on that journey of life, of love. And I say yes to life. And life responds to me and say yes to me in all of its victory. And that is victory because she is in Merton. She went on our journey to be with the Lord. How are you, brothers and sisters? If Jesus was to come right now, in that flash of light, will he be able to take you up because are the flash of light to be so strong that you just drop, or I just drop because I can't stand it? Are we waiting till we get sick in bed to remember God, to be compassionate and loving and do our part? Or are we doing what we are supposed to do at this time? What we are called to do, to be the light to this world. As I said in the last funeral that we had here, Jesus is reminding us that he is the resurrection and the life. And today he reminds us, he is the shepherd. And that shepherd is right here now leading us, guiding us. And he can guide us when we are ready, when we want. As powerful as our beloved Jesus Christ is. And all the disciples that are with him and the first family, Mother Mary, St. Mary Magdalene, Joseph, and all of those, Grandmother Anna, and all of those that are there, as powerful as St. Michael, Archangel Michael, and all the archangels are. They are waiting on us, and they can only work in our favor when we call on them, when we ask them to be with us, when we call our beloved brother, Jesus Christ, our Savior, when we call on him, uh, he will be standing there waiting to shepherd us, waiting to lead us, because he's there. And now he's saying to some of you, he's saying to us, look, look if you keep on suffering, it's because you want man. You don't need keep on suffering. I wear that crown of thorns so that you can wear a crown of victory, a crown of peace, a crown of harmony. And I will work between your sleeping time and I will give you that in your consciousness. So when you wake the next day, you will remember that I have placed, I have taken the crown of thorns on my head so that you can have the crown of victory, the crown of peace, the crown of harmony. He's saying to you, I die on that cross and stretch out my hand to call you to me in light. Don't look at that cross when you look at me and see me beaten up. Look at me and see me a victorious king because that's what I want you to be. As you look at that empty cross, as you look at that candle, you know that you are the light of the world because the greatest light came and light this whole world and die on that cross and now he's no more there. He's resurrected and he's calling you and that part of resurrection and he's saying to you i am your leader do you want me to lead you i stand at the door of your heart and knock if you will only open up let me come in you might have some little difficulties yes here and there you might feel like the corner might was grab you you might feel like we might grab you and you might whatsoever you want to say but you know what he's saying to you you don't need struggle anymore for life, whatsoever that is. Because now we get to a place and say, if I die, I die in Christ, and if I live, I live in Christ. All is gain and spur me. Because I'm that part of resurrection. That part where I can never lose. Everything is win, win, win. And that is for Lucy. And that is for you. That is for me. Let the good shepherd call you, call you and receive him. Let him lead you in that place of peace, of harmony, of victory over sin, disease and death. And when disease attack your body, call on him. And he will come with his angels and with all who you need to help you on your journey. And if it's not time for you to go, you will get right up again because you are a victorious being. He is victorious. He's not on that cross anymore. You are not on that cross. Beside that crown of victory that he gave you, he placed in your heart a golden cross. 
that light you up. And when the enemy look at you, he said, my goodness, I try after her, I try after him. What is happening? You know why? Because your heart is so inflamed with the love of the Christ, with the power of the Christ. Your wisdom is strengthened and lightened by the Christ presence that never, never fails. The light of God that never fails. To some of you that I have been sending messages to, I say to you, and I will say to you again, and I will say to those who I couldn't send messages because I don't have your number. Say with conviction, I know this is true. The light of God never fails, and it will not fail in your life. The love of God always fulfills, and will fulfill in your life. The wisdom and truth of God will prevail, and it will prevail in your life, church. And it will prevail in your life, it will prevail in Rufus, it will prevail in Nicaragua. Say those things with conviction and stand in your position of love and light, knowing that the very God lives within you. Awaken to that wonderful knowledge, church. Awaken to that knowledge that God is within you and everywhere. He's not somewhere only in the sky. He's also within you. He's above you and he's everywhere. And that's the power that carry us on in the light when we drop this body. And that is the power that leads us on this journey as we go on this wonderful path of life. Church, I don't tell you, it is wonderful be, to be here at this time. You have said to God before you came down, I want to be down there at this time because it is going to be a glorious moment. But before I get, and then we cower in the corner, afraid of everything. As long as Jesus is with you, as long as the Christ and all his angels are with you, around with Jesus as you know him. You know what, church? We can never fail because his light never fails. His love is truth and will fulfill. His truth and wisdom will always prevail in this life, no matter what. Know today that as Lucifer is moving on in the light, right here and now, because this world needs you. Lufus needs you. This region needs you. Everyone needs you. Do your part. Because God is doing his part. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us start. In the assurance of eternal life and heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, who was conceived by the prophet Moses and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and the third day he rose again. He has said that he will come. And he seated at the right hand of God. He will come again and judge the living and the dead. I have been given the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the witness of sin, the resurrection of the Lord, and the life of the Lord. For our sister Lucille, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Lucille and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our sister Lucille eternal life. Hear us, Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. Hear us, Lord. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your sins. Hear us, Lord. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our sister. Let her faith be a consolation and eternal life our hope.
comes with your sins. Everyone, be not no more in the You only are immortal, the creator and made, maker of mankind. You form up of the earth and to earth shall be returned. For so did you are there when you created me, say. You are those unto those who shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our son. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Rest of Christ, your servants, with your sin. We are sorrow and pain and no more, neither sign for life everlasting. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Lucille. Acknowledge me from the deceit, your sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her in the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in life. Amen. Amen.
will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. <coughs> you will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and in your right hand are pleasure forevermore. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you, thy kingdom, and the glory, forever and ever. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you and that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. O God, whose blessed Son was laid in a sepulcher in the garden, Bless, we pray, this grave, and grant that she, whose body is to be buried here, may dwell with Christ in paradise, and may come to your heavenly kingdom through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
ensure uncertain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our sister, Lucille, and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen. <laughs> Right here, no, right here. Right here. Right here. I heard a voice. I heard a voice. Oh,
of faith and courage that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those we love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. If thou art by my side, no I see in Anglican church my mama get up and preach the word of God. And she always said, Leo, you is my youngest child. I love all of you and I want to be united. She always said, please don't fight against each other. Please love each other. Because I want you to live as a loving set of children for me. My grandmother raised me and she teach me the best. And now it's my time for teach Uno the best and give Uno the best I can. And well, I beg the family, sisters and brothers, and um, Niece and nephew, let us keep united and follow up Mama's words and the, um, the, those advisements what she had give us. Because I know and all of you know she leave good advice with us and let's keep it up. Mama gone, but for me just like she's still here with us. Please, let's keep it up. My name is Carlin, Lucille, the cañita of my abuela. My abuela era Lucille, Presida de Sambola. Mi abuela he compartido con ella bastante, bastante, bastante. Me acuerdo en mi niñez, ella era muy, siempre ha sido muy cristiana. En mi niñez en Monkey Point, ella hacía cultos en su casa. Y era como todos los chiquitos del pueblo, de la comunidad, llegaban ahí para eh, recibir la enseñanza de, de nuestro Padre Celestial, ¿verdad? Y a la vez, este... Ella siempre nos tenía preparado esos pudín de yuca, de kikiski, así. Entonces era como más llamativo que los chiquitos llegaban. Pero siempre ha sido una abuela tierna, amorosa, incondicional. En las palabras de que 
llegaba quien llegaba a la casa, ella los abrigaba con ese calor, brindarles una comida y sin, incluso si no había dónde quedarse, ella era de salir de su cuarto con su esposo, ¿verdad? Mi abuelo, y ceder ese campo. Entonces nosotros la vacinamos. Abuela, your house always be like albergue. Como que ahí toda la familia, todos los amistades, todo el mundo que llegaba ahí era en la casa de la abuela y de mi papá. Entonces solo quiero dejar este, ese lindo pensamiento de que alguien como mi abuela, no es por, siempre han dicho que cuando uno se va, uno siempre busca las mejores palabras que decirle. Pero cuando se lo merecen, hay que decírselo. Y mi abuela, sinceramente, no es porque sea mi abuela, fue una mujer, aparte de que era mi abuela, era una mujer incondicional, dulce, este, muy tierna. Aparte de eso, era partera, eh, el del pueblo, entonces era muy querida. Y entonces, el mensaje que quiero decir es que, o sea, la familia, sinceramente, que llegan a, a ese punto, tal vez no, no todo el mundo tenemos ese mismo corazón, pero que le seguimos el paso a, a ella, ¿verdad? Que es, era muy querida y hasta la fecha va a dejar, deja un vacío en mí y sé que en todos mis hermanos, mi, mi mamá, mis primos, mis tías, mis, o sea, sus hijos, su, su esposo, todos, entonces los vecinos, entonces, gracias.